We'll start with the Mustard C49S size 10 uh, curved caddy hook. We need a little length of lead wire which we'll just secure here. Like so, just push that together. We don't want it all the way to the front kind of half into the thorax. We've got sheer 40 knot black. We just attach this and put a stopper there just to stop the time of the lead wire moving forward. Go over the lead wire and we put a little stopper at the back of the lead wire there. Remove that. And we have a little length of para post. And we just Tack that in there, there we go, and go down, want to go down into the bend a wee ways here, there we are, and then we can go back up, and then we can just go over the lead wire again. Remove that. Back down here. To about there. We don't want to trim the tail yet. Length of medium copper wire. Just tack in there. To that. <clears throat> then I've got some golden olive, olive turkey marabou. What we want is this fine tapered bits on the tip. And we just separate this down here. like this, take our scissors, trim that off, take hold of that and pull everything through. We take this and we tack this in here and go up. forward, put a hackle plier on the marabou tip, twist it up so we form a dubbing rope and what we can do, it's a bit a little bit tighter there, a little bit more of a twist with each turn form the segmented caddis pupa body as we go up. There we are. That's good. And then we can go reverse our thread back into the marabou underneath, catch it in, take it a couple of times, remove that and we can tie the end down. And what we'll do is we'll take our wire and we want to follow each segment with the copper wire. Come up here and we can add a little bit more weight Break that off. Take a 
<clears throat> a few strands of black floss. You can use whatever colours you like here again. This is entirely up to you, but I like the black floss. So let's turn that around. I'll tie in one side here, right into the abdomen. And we just go over that like so, and then we pull the other side back. We can go a little bit further forward so I get a good grip on it. Pull the other side back to there, and then we can just see that's perfect. Spin our thread anti clockwise. So we can split it. Like so. Then I've got some hair dub. <clears throat> this is excellent stuff, and I'm using the medium brown for the legs so we just put a little bit in there we want to keep this quite long in there there we are all caught in and then we'll spin our bobbin clockwise so we can make a dubbing rope you find that it'll bunch up like this but then what we do is we just even it out this can go back in the box that's perfect so we take our dubbing rope now want it thicker at the back and then just go forward, we want to leave a little space at the front so we can tie the floss down, the wing case so we pull that over and when you're tying the wing case down you can see here I've left a little gap so we want to tie it down at the back so we have room to cut it off and tie it down proper so we pull that over I'll put one in first just to see I'm happy with it not happy with that straighten it out first that's better and come over there we are, that's perfect, so I'll go around there a couple of times and we can come up and you see I've got room there to trim it off and make a, a decent size head on this let's trim that off, then we go <coughs> pull all the legs, dubbing back start at the hook eye and we work our way back What we want is a nice neat head and it should be quite large, there we go, so we can give that a nice coat of varnish. So just give that a whip finish. Remove the tying thread lift the breathing gill tail and we just want to cut that off nice and short like that and we take our toothbrush and pull out all these super long ones just grab them and pull hard they'll come out eventually take a little varnish
and there's the finished caddis pooper <clears throat> if you enjoyed the videos please like share subscribe and thanks for watching